Hello, I'm Kurt Wallenberg with Easy Pro 123. Today, I'm going to show you how to assemble our park bench. Uh, this is the box that it ships in. Uh, it's 75 pounds, so it is UPSable and shippable, etc. Uh, we put the banding on it so that you can you can pick it up, move it around a little easier. But uh, you're probably going to want to have two people to help you move this thing around. I had my lovely assistant help me get it uh, on here. So with that, we'll get started on putting it together. I'll uh, do a timer on this, so we can show you how fast it goes together and why we are called Easy Pro One Two Three, Easy Professional, and One Two Three, and it's done. So let's get started. All right, we we'll cut the bands. The box is stapled shut, so we're going to rip that open. All right, inside, everything is packaged uh, in here, and so it's held, so it can't move around the shipping. We've got our hardware kit. We've got our instructions and safety warnings, so please make sure you read that. And we will open this up and get started. What I like to do is take the pieces out, so you can use your work surface to get it all assembled. Bottom, your seat back, both the same part, so it doesn't matter. We'll get this off the work surface. And let's get started. You put this surface down. Make sure your bench or work area is clean. Uh, so it doesn't mar up the plastic uh, lumber that's on there. We start with the legs. Again, safety first. Read the instructions, safety warnings, the diagram on how to put it together. We're going to dump out our hardware here. You've got a one and a quarter inch long bolt that will mount the legs and the seat back bracket. You slide the bolt through with a washer on both sides. Another washer. And up. Same thing. Same on the other side. Again, the one and a quarter long, five sixteen stainless steel bolts. Seat back one bracket. Slide it through. Put the washer. Nobody else will probably drop them like I do. Okay, then you'll need a half inch wrench and a half inch socket on a ratchet. I like to use an extension, a short extension, just to get, get it out so you don't get the knuckles on anything. Now we've got our cross support gussets. All the rest of the bolts are going to be a 5 16 by 1 stainless bolt. Again, washers and nylon nuts. Okay. 
guy here, you need a wrench because you can't get down in there with the stuff. of the length, I've got a couple of pieces here to just lay because my bench is shorter. I'll lay this across and then we'll flip it around. Again, you may want an assistant when you're doing this because of the weight. And put the washers in the nuts on, tighten it up, and you are done.